my YouTube channel. I am Lindsay with Treehouse Schoolhouse and today I'm welcoming you into my home. I'm going to be sharing with you all about A Connected Christmas. A Connected Christmas was our very first published curriculum in the winter of 2020. At the time, um, I've been a stay-at-home mom for years. Um, before that, before, previously, I was a, an, an educator for two children with special needs. I was able to privately homeschool them in their home. And before that, I was a children's ministries director at a church. So I took my love for God, my love for children, mixed with some education experience. And when I had children, we knew we would homeschool. So as the years went on and they were in preschool and early elementary, um, I decided I wanted a curriculum that could be easy to follow, open and go, during the holiday season that would connect my family together with each other and with God. And so I developed a connected Christmas. I'm so honored that it has been in over a thousand homes all around the world. And now in 2021, even more families are joining us. I did want to note that if you purchased a connected Christmas in 2020, the 2021 edition does did have some revisions. And the main thing that we did was we went from a four week curriculum to a three week curriculum. And as you take a peek inside today in this video, you can see the differences. The main difference is that we took out most of week one, which was focused on winter and just an introduction to the winter season. I have since developed Treehouse Nature Study Winter, and I moved a lot of those elements, the poetry, the art piece, over to uh, Treehouse Nature Study Winter, the snow and ice week. So you may recognize some of those pieces if you're doing that curriculum as well. I wanted to reduce it to three weeks because I felt like from the time between Thanksgiving and Christmas, even if you have a full four weeks, it's really tough to get lessons in every single day with vacations and other family traditions. So I just wanted to leave it open a little bit more for you to move things around as you, as you please. The three weeks are labeled Monday through Friday, but even me, the curriculum creator, will not be following those days to a T. I may do Monday through Thursday one week, and then we go on vacation, and so then I start back the following week on what says Friday, but we're doing it on, say, a Tuesday. So you can really make this work for your family. I'm gonna be sharing with you the heart behind it before I walk you through it, so that you can find out if this it resonates with you, if this is a good fit for your family. So one of the big things about A Connected Christmas is that it was designed with the whole family in mind. I really wanted the youngest of learners, even toddlers and preschoolers, to gain something from this guide, as well as all the way up into middle school and even teenagers and um, adults can get something out of this curriculum. Now I will say that the main focus of, of the, the lessons and the picture books would, I would say, would be more like preschool through elementary but you can adapt for different ages. I've also published a blog post that gives ideas to um, extend this for your older learners and then ideas to help you navigate some of the lessons for your younger learners. And so I'll put that link below. Um, a Connected Christmas is a Charlotte Mason inspired curriculum when the, in the foundation of your lessons is the biblical Christmas story. Each day in a connected Christmas, you're going to be interacting with beauty subjects. So you could treat this curriculum as your core for those three weeks, and then maybe just add in some math and reading, or you could um, just use it as your morning time and continue on with your other lessons. Personally, in our family, I have a first and third grader and a preschooler. Um, we will be using this for the, the bulk of our lessons and just be adding in math and some handwriting and some phonics. So um, it's going to basically carry us through the month of December, just a time to slow down and focus in on the true meaning of Christmas and on being together. So each day you are going to start your day with a hymn and you're gonna sing the hymn together. You can click the link and it will take you over to Spotify, um, which matches the lyrics page in the curriculum. So I like to slip those pages into my children's morning time menu, which is simply a menu cover and they can, use, they can hold it themselves, they can read along, they can worship along. My little ones like to use instruments during this time. The next thing that you'll be doing in the curriculum after the hymn is um, 
a poetry study. And so each day, Monday through Friday, you have a way to interact with the same poem each week. And by the end of the week, you're going to be amazed at how your little ones can recite the poem and give you meanings to the poem that you would have never imagined that they could figure out. And so the kind of things you're going to be doing with the poem are um, discussing the vocabulary, copy work, and there's a copy work page included, doing a poet study, and I've provided a biography on the poet and some um, ways to interact with that as far as looking up where they were born on a map or timelining their life out on a timeline. And so um, you'll also illustrate the poem and um, then give them an opportunity to recite the poem. Another thing you'll be doing is an art study. And these are pictures that represent different elements of the nativity story by famous artists. And so I'll show you those in a second as well, but I have discussion questions for you to do. I have an artist study with the biography. Um, and then the last day you'll be replicating the piece of art, which is a really beautiful time to put on classical music and allow your children to paint or draw what they see and what stands out to them in the art piece and label it with the artist's name. Um, and then the Bible portion of your curriculum, which some people like to do at the end of their time together, or some like to do it at the beginning. Each week you'll be memorizing a passage of scripture, and there is copy work to go along with that to help your child memorize, and with handwriting practice. And then um, my very favorite part of this curriculum is the narration notebook. So each day you will have a section of scripture that you will read to your children and then they will narrate to you what they received. And so um, depending on their age, you can work on um, them narrating the events in chronological order, leaving out the, the details that don't necessarily matter to the plot and making sure to focus on the details. So if you're new to narration, this is going to be a really amazing time for you to experience how much your children can retain with narration. And in the introduction, I have some tips for you if you're new to narration. And after they do that, then they're gonna use their narration notebook. And you're gonna flip to the page for that day. And it's labeled at the top with the title of the, the passage that you're reading. And your child's going to complete a written narration. So they're going to write out what you read to them. And I have different steps um, available for you in the introduction to hold your hand alongside doing this if this is new to you. Even your preschoolers can engage in this. And then they'll draw a picture. And by the end of your study, after the entire three weeks, you're going to have this 15 page notebook that's a keepsake or you can give to grandma or you can keep for next year to see how they've grown if you do a connected Christmas again. And then uh, lastly, you have a read aloud. I have 15 books selected. These are my all time favorite Christmas books that are meaningful, that have wonderful storylines about family and values and traditions and they're whimsical, they're playful, they're fun. Some will make you cry, some will make you laugh. These are the top of the top Christmas books. And so you'll be reading a book with your child and don't worry if you can't source all 15 books in a physical copy. I recommend using an online version if you're not able to get one from your local library or a used bookstore like thriftbooks.com or abooks.com. If you're not able to actually have a physical copy of the book, there are, all of these books are read aloud on YouTube. So you can find the book and you can watch it together. Then you're going to do a hands-on connection. And for this section each day, it's either a handcraft or a baking project or an act of service. Something that you do that connects with a the theme in the picture book. So it's really, really fun. For example, there is a story about a woodworker whose heart is cold and I won't give it away. And he takes in a little boy and is teaching him woodworking. Well, for that day, your hands-on connection will be soap carving. So just as he was working with wood and carving wood and creating things, I had instructions that day for you to carve soap, just like the woodworker. So it's a little hands-on projects that are Christmas themed, that are themed to the book, that are really fun and will bring the story to life. So that is a connected Christmas in a nutshell, but now I'm actually going to open it up and let you see inside um, and let you compare 2020's version to this year, if you did it last year, and also just if you're new, for you to take a peek inside and decide if it works for your family. A connected Christmas, a festive invitation to a connected Advent season. 
And so in the front, you will have a table of contents. You will also have an about the author. And then in the introduction, I share narration notebook options and tips for different ages. I also have the link here to the Connected Christmas Spotify. And here are instructions for printing and binding if you did not buy the hard copy. Here there's a general materials list that's you materials that are used over and over. And then here are materials listed by week. There's also a book list here. These are the five books for each week that I recommend getting. And I have some tips up here on gathering those books. Each week you'll have a weekly lesson grid that looks like this. So let's just start here with Bible. You'll see that everything you're going to be doing is here and it's Monday through Friday. So we're gonna start with Bible and we're just gonna take you on a walk through Monday. So on Monday, you're going to be learning about the birth of Jesus foretold and there is scripture memory that day. And each day you can look over here in your lesson sheet. This is Monday's page and it's going to break down exactly what to do with this each day. So for Bible, I'm going to show you the sheets that are coordinating. You'll have this scripture copy worksheet. And then for the narration notebook section here where you'll read the story aloud and then you'll do your narration notebook here. This is what the Christmas story narration notebook looks like. So the birth of Jesus foretold. This is where they'll write their narration and this is where they illustrate. And there's a page for every day. There. Next is your carol and your hymn, and each week you will have the song like I mentioned on Spotify, and you'll also have a sheet that looks like this that you can hang in your classroom or you can put in your child's morning time menu with the lyrics. Next is the poetry, and you will have a sheet that looks like this each week, their poem, and then you'll also have a poetry copy worksheet for one of the days. Your art study on week one, this is the picture. If you get the hard copy of this curriculum, it prints so beautifully. You can see that shine on there. And it also prints pretty well at home as well. So um, this will be either in your child's morning time menu or hanging in your classroom area. And each day it gives you questions in your lesson guide, as you can see here. Questions and different ways to interact with the art piece. And then your read alouds are listed here and the instructions for each hands-on connection are listed here. So I'll show you what your instructions will look like for woven placemats. I have pictures for you, step-by-step -step directions. Another day during week one, you're gonna be doing the soap carving, which I was talking about, gingerbread cookies with a recipe, string wrapped twig trees, and this is the display for the scripture sheet. I forgot to show you that one. So that is week one in a nutshell. And you can order a connected Christmas either as a hard copy, and it comes just as you're seeing here, it comes loose. The other option is to order a separate bound Christmas story narration notebook. If you order the hard copy, you will receive one copy of the Christmas Story Narration Notebook in your stack of loose hard copy papers, but it will not be bound. On my website, you can order as many separate bound Christmas Story Narration Notebooks as you would need, and the front and the back are cardstock. You can also order all of this as a digital download, and when you do that, you will receive the entire curriculum, including one copy of the Christmas Story Narration Notebook in your download, and you can make as many copies of each page that you need. As usual, reach out if you have any questions. I hope that this was helpful to you. And look below for um, links to anything that I mentioned, as well as liking and subscribing for future videos.